Hey there, it's Alex from Inside Gadgets, and today we'll be looking at the GBX Cart Read Write device. It supports Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance cartridges. It allows you to read the ROM, save the save game, and restore the save game. When you plug in the device, your computer might not recognize it. You'll just have to open up Device Manager and find the USB 2.0 serial device there. Click on Update Driver and then find the drivers folder in the zip file you would have downloaded, and then you can install that. We'll be using the GUI program, so what we want to do first is grab the Visual C++ 2015 redistributable, download that and install, and then we can open up the interface program, the GUI interface, and just the program here, and it's going to ask us for the COM port number, so we can just go ahead and plug in our device, and then just open up Device Manager, and find the COM port, so it's 13, so we'll just pop that in and hit open port and once that turns green then we know we're connected successfully what you're going to want to do is just take a look at what LED is selected there if it's 3.3 or if it's 5 volts so the first one we're going to dump is going to be the Game Boy so that uses 5 volts so we'll switch that over we'll plug in the game connect it back up again give it a second or two and then hit open port and then we can hit read header and we've got the game title and all the other information there then we can go ahead and read the ROM read the save game and write the save game back to the cartridge now we can just check the directory here for the Game Boy game ROM and the save game and now let's unplug the device and we'll do the Game Boy Advance one so we'll switch the little switch back over you can always just plug it in without any game, just to double check which which LED is selected. So we'll go ahead and plug the game back in. Power it up. Click on open port. Read header. It, and then we've got the game title there again with the ROM size and all that other information. We can read the ROM. Now it will take a little while. Read the ROM completed, we can just read the save game and then write back the save game to the cartridge. And then we can just see that it's placed those two files over here. Thanks for watching.